Hello YouTube and welcome to the Mountain Royals campaigns, the only campaign in Age of Empires 2 that we have not played yet. We're gonna kick it off with Thoros, we're working our way up in the difficulty levels. Thoros is the first difficulty, the second one is Ismail, and then the third one is Tamar. So Thoros says, um, the tiny kingdom of Cilician Armenia lies between hostile empires, its ruling family and Byzantine's captivity. When Prince Thoros escapes, he embarks on a dangerous campaign to liberate his homeland, but the vengeful Byzantines are not his only foes. The Seljuk Turks covet the region as well, and a ruthless Frankish crusader is pursuing his own schemes to the south. In this campaign, you will play as the Armenians. That is great. So our first mission is called Outlawed. So we have the toughest difficulty, and let's it is folly that we are ruled by a class of firstborns. Men whose sole claim to lordship is being first to crawl out of their mother's womb. Most of them do nothing but squander their opportunities. Sometimes it is a second son's duty to depose his incompetent brother and rule in his stead. I am one such man, and you, young squire, might one day become one as well. Yet even I do not compare to Thoros the Great, Thoros. the second son of the Cilician Armenian king. Thoros supplanted his older brother and became the heir of his father's kingdom. Yet it was a frail inheritance, as the Byzantine Empire had its sights set on the realm. The Byzantines still nurtured the vain Roman dream of ruling all of the Mediterranean. And Cilician Armenia, Weak and divided after years of internal strife was an easy target. The Byzantines took the kingdom easily and threw Thoros and his father into the deepest dungeon in Constantinople. It is said that the Cilician Armenian king was brutally executed on the emperor's orders. But Thoros was not his father. Using the charisma that the latter had sorely lacked, he managed to sway his captors into postponing his death. Some even whisper that Thoros seduced a Greek princess into helping him escape the prison and board a ship to Cilicia. Having met the persuasive man on a few occasions, I am inclined to believe that the stories are actually true. Cheeky guy. Now an outlaw with no following, Thoros found his homeland overrun and his family seat occupied by Byzantine forces. The once proud kingdom was in a sorry state. One which the landless prince was determined to change. And that's where we come into play, I would imagine. Paris and Helena, that's what I was thinking. Alright, main objectives. Retake your family home. Vaka Castle. By eliminating the Byzantine forces guarding it. Thoros must survive. Been there, done that. Thoros is restricted to the castle age and a population of 125. If Thoros dies before Vaka castle is recaptured, the mission is lost. But do not hesitate to send Thoros into combat after you've taken the castle. Should he be wounded, he will retreat to his castle to recover and fight again after he has recovered. Thoros's brothers, Stefan and... Le? Le? were never captured by the Byzantines and are both hiding in the nearby mountains. Visit them and convince them to join the rebellion. Sea offers plenty of food for your fishing ships, but beware of Byzantine vessels patrolling the coast. Instead of lumber or mining camps, Armenian villagers construct and deposit resources at mobile mule carts. Thoros' return is not yet known to the Armenians. However, as soon as the prince reveals himself, Fighters willing to help retake Cilician Armenia should appear. Near the beach where Thoros disembarked in his family's old seat, Vaka Castle, which a Byzantine garrison of infantry and archer units occupies. To the north are the other Byzantine controlled castles, held by swordsmen, light cavalry, and skirmishers. Should the Byzantines be attacked, they will likely send cataphracts to into battle as well. Thoros's brothers, Stefan and Mele be of help against the occupiers. Stefan has retreated to a hidden mountain monastery to the west, while Mele resides in a village to the east. 
The Seljuks claim the Armenian territories to the southeast, but it may be possible to temporarily come to terms with them. Emphasis on the temporarily, I would imagine. Alright, what are we working with here? To see it in the hands of the greedy Byzantines is a disgrace to my fond childhood memories. I will need soldiers to take back what is rightfully mine. Uh, something I noticed right away that they definitely have changed is that the music and sound behind when the the voice lines up here gets uh, softened. That never used to be before. That is quite nice. Alright, so we got Thor's 380 HP, 2 plus 2, uh, 2 plus 1 armor on both, and 14 plus 1 attack. Let's go. I cannot believe my weary eyes. It is you, Thoros. So the rumors about you. Okay, narrator does not, does not mean all of these voice lines in between here and there. Okay, we, we want to go to the east and talk to our brother and the west and talk to our brother first. Oh. Longs for your return, Prince Toros. Let us drive the insidious Byzantines out of your castle and avenge your father's death. Getting a solid army just randomly. Thoros must survive. At least 10 soldiers must survive. What? Okay, that's scary. Eliminate the Byzantine forces guarding Vaka Castle. Okay, um... We need a bigger army for this. Yeah, actually, I don't have too many crossbows. But still, I don't have any confidence that I will keep 10 units alive here. So, uh, I'm gonna go continue looking for my brothers. Although, with some good micro with uh, Thoros, maybe it would have been possible. We're only working with Fulish upgrades, though. They said one of the brothers were hiding to the east. Focus on capturing Vakla Castle before exploring the map. Wasn't I supposed to like, talk to my brothers to have them join me? Or was he in this village? I guess they want me to take the castle first, and then I'll go to my brothers. Okay, fair enough. Let's do it. Thoros has 380 HP. He can do a lot of work by himself. Maybe we can do some baiting as well, right? You guys come here. If you want, we can keep every unit alive. Thoros can kill everything by himself, if I have the patience. Which I obviously don't. But he can. My point. I just want to take the scorpion out. Wait, did the scorpion chase me as well here? Like, go out? Oh, you can be so cheeky about this mission. One by one, you can actually do it. Rogan. Don't let the scorpion escape. Wait, I didn't see those long swords before. Okay, how many did? Okay, ten soldiers must survive. This will be fine. And Thoros has to survive as well, of course. This is fine. I must be careful. I cannot afford to lose many men before the castle is recaptured. We're bruh. We got this. Seventeen to go. This is fine. Castle is not an enemy, no. If the castle was an enemy, this would have not been possible. I'll tell you that much. We have 15 units alive. This should be easy. Just need to be a little bit particular with Thoros. But this is only the beginning. On the grave of my father, I swear I will not rest until all of Armenia is free. Armenia, is that how it's pronounced? Alright, we now have economy to work with. 
I want to go and check out what my brothers are up to. From which the Byzantines control our homeland. Let me show you where our enemies are hiding, my prince. Yeah. So we need to destroy two of the Byzantine castles. We can do that. I do realize I should have done my mod for c control groups. They will block the minimap now. Perhaps you should pay them each a visit, my prince. Your quarrel with the Byzantines is not our affair. But those dogs stole a trade card loaded with precious goods from us. If you return it, we will reward you. Some villagers have returned from their hiding places in the mountains. We must provide them with mule carts so they can start gathering resources for our army. Access to the Mediterranean Sea guarantees us a steady supply of fish. But we must be cautious. Many Byzantine warships patrol these waters. I can play again. So, there are four villager groups provided with. So, you want to provide these with mule carts. What's here? Mela. Okay, we'll pay him a visit. And here is Stefan. I don't really want to commit on any units right now because I don't know where where it's gonna go. We have 125 population limit. So not a town center wouldn't hurt. Can I just build a mule cart for them or do I have to like read the, these type of carts? Well this is a trading post. Okay, never mind. I just need to build a mule cart. And here I just need to free this one. Yeah, that's fine. You go there. I might not get those wheels and they'll start working for me. This should be good. Indeed. Okay, let's go visit uh, Mela. Can I do it with the scout or does it have to be Thoros? Oh. Not me. see you alive and well. Happily surprised, of course. You want to march against our Byzantine friend? Uh, enemies? I would love to help you. Really? Alas, as long as their soldiers are roaming my lands, my hands are tied. Yeah, you can probably just send a milk cart around, but I think you want to have milk cards for them anyway, because they have work to do on those locations. So I think it makes sense to give them each a milk cart. All right, so we wanna we wanna take care of these this Byzantine camp because as long as that one is there, his hands are tied. So we're just gonna send our army there, start making some composite bowmen. They should do a decent job here. Betrayal incoming. That's usually how it goes with everything. To be fair, where's gold? I don't have any gold access right now. have gold. We can send this milk out here now. Since we have a TC there. How much do I even need over here? Now I can also fight with him. He doesn't matter if he dies now. Okay, there are multiple towers. It looks like 12 minute arms. Three crossbows. That's fine. <gasps> no, he's trapped. Oh, he's not trapped. Maybe we can already take this out. It would have been early. Here we go, chat. Come on. <laughs> We're fine. 
Oh, we can bait them away. Troops marching towards us. The enemy will arrive soon. They are coming to attack me. I was not aware that would be their plan. Oh, didn't you take the towers as well? Need to get a brother on board. In which case I would also need some siege units. Or any melee or infantry units that can take out towers. I guess that's an option as well, but this might take... Oh, oh actually, I'll go back. This is fine. Is this the attack? I have a castle, I'm not too worried about that. But I'm not too worried about that indeed. Maybe if these died... Okay, we actually have to take out the buildings. It appears. Oh, they're coming from this side as well. Ooh. Actually a decent army. Whoa! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, they're not messing around. All right, they're building more than I anticipated. As long as I have castles, should not be a problem. Oh, very ambitious, very ambitious. There. Chance to be an option? True, we do get access. I mean, oh, we can't go in. Ah, we can't go in, but we do have access to infantry upgrades one age earlier. So, yes, champions would on paper be an option. Do I only have to take the. Let me see here. Byzantine camp. So, I have to destroy the whole thing. Okay. We're about to reach our population limit. I think we have enough wills. Not live on YouTube today, no, I'm not. Yeah, 38 on food, seems solid. Gold is the biggest problem, honestly. Let's just take some gold there. So I'm gonna give them the first stuck in castleage. Yes, I think champions are absolutely worth it. Yeah, this ram should be able to do this whole job by itself. Well, we can go and check out what uh, Stefan wants. Probably keep some of these at home in case they're needed. We also have to get the trading post. Wait, we already have five barracks? Okay, that's solid. We'll go and free this. Once we're taking the stone, we'll probably do a castle here and we'll prepare. <gasps> oh, not like this. We'll prepare for a push on the Byzantines as well. Could I just attack the wall from here and take it? Okay, come back. Do not worry, man. This wound looks worse than it is. I will recover quickly. I'll recover quickly, relax. Yes, Patras, yes, 
So not very, I will recover quickly. Yeah, champion should be really good here actually. Because uh, we need just a meat shield for our for uh, our Armenian composite bowman. And I would like a castle. Yep. That would be great. Let's make the hero immortal so Viper can play this thing. And you know how to do it. Uh, 65 bills. That's probably more than enough still. Don't think there's any upgrades I'm missing. We want to get this now. Oh, ballistics for sure. Why oh, do you guys have to be so annoying? Oh, is the ram trying to hit the mule cart? Ah. <laughs> nice. Is Composite Bowman also good? I think Composite Bowman is good in both 1 1 and team games. But they need a meat shield. Exactly. You can get the plus two armor. That'll help him for sure. And we'll get prepared champions. Wait, what? Wait, my ram died? <gasps> Dead. I feel like I've been going very slow about this, but it's gonna work. That's all that matters. Now we have a castle here to provide safety. We'll free this, we'll run to our brother. And we're ready to start attacking very soon. Oh, he has a unit. That explains it. You want to bring this to the Seljuk and they will start... I imagine they'll start attacking the Byzantines by themselves. Listen, I'm going to keep some army here in case I need to do a, a task for Stefan. Building a watchtower that is never being finished. Most of my men and had to retreat here. Provide me with fresh troops and I will fight alongside you. Okay, we need to send them 10 barracks troops. That's easy. Easy peasy. And then he'll join us in our battle. You could have just killed his long swords you know, or man arm, you know? So we're kind of doing simul doing all the tasks at the same time. Not sure why these are choosing this path. Go here. Did I go here by myself? Voluntarily? I feel like I didn't, but okay. Fish boom? True, I did start fishing. There you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna build new units. I trust that pathing more. Oh! Trebuchets are nice. Oh, the gate was only Palisade gate. I feel like I'm already ready to steamroll here, though. So let's speed this up a little bit. Yeah, we'll try to just take out this. Of course, they all decided to pop on the wrong side. 
Castle, traps in Castle Edge hacks. I'm proud of it. All right, let's go. Get this out, and we just go for the. Uh... What is happening here? <laughs> yeah, he did get affected by the blacksmith upgrades. Okay, we're gonna have the units there. Let us crush those wretched Byzantines. After you. So is he gonna start attacking now? Just by using my champions, I guess? Now the tower got finished. Not doing anything though. Very nice. New and improved pathing. Yeah, traps are cheating here. If I have no way of dealing with this. I think we're already at the stage where they don't really have units to deal with our composition anyway. But traps just on top of everything. Maybe we can start getting rid of some bills as well. Oh, he's attacking. Okay. Mm-hmm. One castle down. Let's go for the top one so we get... Because this one looks quite easy to break. We'll see if the top one is more of a challenge. Wait. Oh, I get the city after. Ah. Fair. I feel like on, on missions like this, they should just have one building that needs to be destroyed here. I have to take out all the buildings here. It's annoying. Or Mela. Alright, what's up? Do I really have to take out every pavilion as well? We okay. Weaponry in this destroyed cab, my prince. Ooh. Racer? Last furnace and cap drum researched. Okay, that makes our composition absolutely insane now. For, for Castledge. Gone. You have no idea how many times I have tried to expel this rubble myself. Now help fight. Do something. Yeah, but now we have we have essentially we have imperialist units against castleage units. Stefan did a really strong push here. Sus, very sus. Essentially, what I'm learning is that all allies continue to be useless. He rattles himself. Yep. Let's just build these ramps. Make them speedy. As speedy as can be. Oh! Now he's actually doing a little bit of a push. He's going in himself as well. I respect that. He's going as well. Not useless allies after all. Oh, they actually have a sizable army. Oh, we might lose this fight. Could have done helps. I think we'll take the castle though. Still have two traps shooting. Should be fine. All hail Taurus, Lord of Cilicia, Lord of the Mountains! Worry, man. This wound looks worse than it is. <laughs> I will recover quickly. I was. It is what it is, okay? He will recover. Don't worry. Thoros must have felt invincible as he and his brothers raised the fearless lion banner of his Rubinid dynasty atop the battlements of Vaka Castle. Against all odds, scratch. he had managed to liberate a sliver of his lost homeland. The Byzantine Emperor was humiliated. Fuming with rage, he dispatched his agents to contact the Hethumids, 
old rivals of Thoros' family. Just as the Emperor had hoped, Cilicia plunged into civil war as the two families vied for control of the kingdom. All right. You also have to give me some feedback as well on the... Because I'm manually increasing the sound when there are the dialogue in the game. But I do understand that it can be... Like, the jump in sound can be quite disturbing, as 80 Miles points out in chat here. Do you guys prefer if I just keep the volume the same, or do you like that I'm doing the up and down? You have to let me know. And give me some feedback on that. Should I just have it the same sound all the time? Anticipate the dialogue better. <laughs> sure. Just want to hear the game sound. You could have done some more fish. This is all they had down there, though. Two fire ships would have taken care of this. Not that important, though. But yeah, there's nothing else. We actually scouted the whole map, pretty much. There was one fortified church here we could have maybe done something with. By the looks of it. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything we missed. And we did every side mission. Good stuff. That was uh, chapter one of the Thoros campaign, Outlawed. We'll continue next time for the Emperor's Revenge.